Hi, this is Linda, and welcome back to my kitchen. Years ago, in the 60s, um, in the Rochester, this one I still lived in New York, in the Rochester paper, this recipe came up, and I made it many times, and I haven't made it since. So I thought we all would share it together, because it was good. In this bowl, the original recipe says five and a quarter ounces or one pouch of mashed potato flakes. I don't find them in pouches anymore. So I measured out five and three quarter ounces and it comes to two cups. So it's two cups of mashed potato, instant mashed potato flakes. And then you take a cup and a half of sour cream and you add it add a half a cup of water to it and you get it mixed up pour the two together <clears throat> don't expect this to be a real creamy mixture because it won't be it's going to be crumbly you need a 9 by 13 pan ungreased Whoops, so we're going to uh, get this mixed up, and we're going to have to pat it, almost push it, into the bottom of the 9 by 13 pan, because it's going to be crumbly and not easy to work with. Alright guys, I, I just kind of used the palm of my hand and got it down in the bottom of this ungreased 9 by 13 pan, and I pushed it in. Now, over here I have ground beef that I have uh, ground up, drained, and added a half a cup of water. And into that I'm going to add a tablespoon of minced, dried minced onion, a half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and uh, anywhere from an eighth to a half a teaspoon of oregano. And if I said teaspoons in the minced onion, it was tablespoon. One tablespoon of minced onion. And that's going in. Along with... Let me try to get the pan to not steam here along with an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce you can use two, two 8 ounce cans of tomato sauce uh, but I chose to use an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce and a let's see I think this is 10 ounces 10 ounces of Rotel, mild Rotel because it called for tomato sauce with um, um, tomato bits, and I can't find any these days. And then a can of Mexicorn. It says undrained. And I'm going to get all this mixed up. And... Um, Heat it up some and let some of this water absorb. Alright, I got all this cooked and, <clears throat> excuse me, married together so that the flavors would blend and the that um, tablespoon of uh, minced onion would hydrate. And uh, you're going to spoon it on this thick Uh, mashed potato, instant potatoes and sour cream mixture. And I guess it says spoon it because it doesn't want you to disturb the mashed potatoes, but I'm telling you they're so hard. I don't know how they could be disturbed. So I'm warning you ahead of time. It's a very stiff um, combination but don't be tempted to add any more sour cream or water you just leave it 
the way it is and I don't this is called super supper if I didn't tell you it's super supper because it's got the vegetables and the meat and the potatoes everything all in it so preheat your oven to 350 degrees and remember when you're making this the recipe will be below so you don't have to stick to anything I did if you want to go purely by the recipe which didn't call for Rotel I don't think they even made Rotel then back in the 60's but um, there you go all right, your, your oven is preheated now to 350 degrees. Let me get this out of the way because it's hot. And you're going to, um, according to the recipe, you're going to sprinkle a half a cup of cube cheese on it. Well, I'm wondering if they use cube cheese because back then they didn't have shredded. Well, guess what? I'm using shredded. It's easier, guys. It's easier. If you want to if you want to use cube cheese on top, you go ahead. But I am a modern kind of cook. And I may be adding more than a half a cup. But you know, you don't want to add so much it makes a thick coating on top. To me, that's too much. And I have used too much in recipes before. So I'm trying to get over that because you all know I'm a cheese lover. But this is going to bring back some memories for me. Alright, we're popping it, and I hate that word pop. I'm going to put it in the 350 degree oven uncovered, center of the oven, for 30 minutes. You want to give those mashed potatoes time to um, come together, and you certainly want the cheese to melt, so don't take it out ahead of time. Okay guys, our casserole is done. It took exactly 30 minutes till it was warm and bubbly. If you look at this bottom layer here, that is the mashed potatoes. And then of course everything else is on top. And I, just in case you want to know, I used Colby cheese on this super supper. And see the mashed potatoes, they, they soften up. So if you add any more liquid to them, you are not going to be happy with the result. And I've got Sam here. Super Supper. That's yeah, that's what it's called, Super Supper. I'm well, just this is all you'd have to do for supper. This that's why they call it Super Supper. It's got everything you need in it. So go mm -hmm. ahead and eat, Sam. You know, years ago when I got married on my wedding night, I, I asked yeah, I asked my wife, I said, Honey, am I the first? She said, No, but you are the first to ask if you're the first. So I thought that was all right. Mm, mm, mm. You may need salt and pepper. That's, you know, up to you. Well, I tell you what, they need they need to make this, and this is all you need for supper. It's got mashed potatoes, corn, cheese. Tastes a little Rotel, I believe. Yeah, and, I use some Rotel instead of two cans of tomato sauce. Uh, what do you think? I think it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, I could go for. Well, this is my supper. And it's, so do the potatoes taste instant? Well, you know, not to me, but now I've, 
you're one of the few that I know that can really tell the difference. I've never really been able to tell the difference. But especially when it absorbs all this stuff, you know, how can you really tell if they're instant or not? But yeah, it's delicious. The, the, the casserole itself is delicious. You recommend it? Oh, yeah. All it's right. very it's very hot. Oh, right now I can't really just shovel it in. Well, that reminds me to tell y'all that if you want to spice this up at all to suit your taste, you go ahead. This, well, I made a few changes like I, you know, I used shredded cheese on top and I also used the Rotel instead of the two 8-ounce cans of tomato sauce. But the original recipe will be down below. But if you want to add more spices, you go ahead. You make it your own. But it's it's a good casserole. I've thought about it all these years, and I've never made it till tonight. So I hope you enjoy it. And I thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with me. I always appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. And subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a few minutes. It's very good. Or a few seconds. Until next time, you all take care and God bless. Mm.